We have this ugly looking series here and we want to do a ratio test to determine whether the series converges or diverges. Well, that means finding this limit right here. Well, from our series, we know that a sub n is 10 to the n over n plus one times four to the two n plus one. We can get a sub n plus one just by replacing all of our n's with n plus ones. We might want to simplify that a little bit. And once we do that, I think we're ready to find this limit. Let's try it out. The first thing we want to do is divide a sub n plus 1 by a sub n. To do that division, I'm going to copy down a sub n plus 1. And then I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of a sub n. So we just did like a copy dot flip kind of a thing right there. Just dividing fractions. Now I'm going to order things up a little bit here. I'm just grouping similar terms, not doing any algebra here. Now this first term, 10 to the n plus 1 divided by 10 to the n. The 10 to the n in the denominator is going to cancel with 10 to the n in the numerator, and that's just going to leave us with a factor of 10 in the numerator. Our n plus 1 over n plus 2 does not cancel at all. From this last term with the base of 4, you'll notice that you have two factors of 4 in the denominator more than you have in the numerator. So you're actually going to end up after cancellation with a 1 over 4 squared here. And there are a couple of different ways you can think about that. You could rewrite 4 to the 2n plus 1 as 4 to the 2n times 4. And 4 to the 2n plus 3 power you could rewrite as 4 to the 2n times 4 cubed. Then you'll notice that the 4 to the 2n's cancel. You're left with 4 over 4 cubed which gives you this one over four squared. There are other ways to look at that algebra as well, but hopefully you're convinced now that this line is correct. And when we simplify, you can pull a 10 out from the numerator and a 16 out from the denominator, and you get 10 sixteenths out in front, and you have an n plus one divided by n plus two. Now, if we take a limit of this thing right here as n goes to infinity, that limit is just going to go to one. So the limit of the entire term, or what we're calling L, is simply 10 over 16, which reduces to five eighths. Now let me zoom zoom out on that so you can see a little bit more of the work that we did there. The last question is what does this limit say about the ratio test? Well the limit turned out to be a number that is less than one so the ratio test says that our series converges. Alright I hope that that problem helped you out. See you next time.